Hey, what's up guys? This is Gary coming back to you with another video here and you are looking at a um, new laser installation that I just completed up in Ashland, Missouri for James Walters. So I'll have more uh, information on this installation in another video, but we're just taking a look at the air compressor being unloaded and this video is kind of dedicated to the, uh, the air compressor. So this air compressor is uh, a 15 kilowatt or 25 horsepower three-phase machine that produces about 50 CFM and it's specifically built for laser cutting and if you haven't already switched over to or at least have the option for air cutting and you're still primarily cutting with nitrogen you got to take a look at these machines and this video is just kind of showing a little bit about the air compressor and showing a comparison of cutting with oxygen versus air and then just showing some some sheet metal air cutting at the end. So if you're new to laser cutting and you don't already know, there's basically two main types of cutting gases that you can use, either nitrogen for thinner materials or oxygen for thick uh, carbon steel. And not in really until the last you know year or two did these smaller, uh, more inexpensive air compressors become available. And if you get a laser from me, I can get you one of these and get it set up and get it all dialed in. Uh, and really save you a lot of money in the long run. A compressor like this, by the time you get it delivered, is plan on spending somewhere around $10,000. Um, but it will save, you know, especially if you cut a lot with nitrogen, it will save you uh, big time in your gas bill and probably pay for itself in a year or so. So, and unfortunately, you can't just use your standard shop air compressor. You need a dedicated laser air compressor and um, you need somewhere around 50 CFM and 230 to 240 PSI of air pressure or around 1.6 MPA uh, or you know 16 bar somewhere in that range uh, your, your standard air compressors are, are just you know they don't produce the volume uh, and air pressure combination of that typically to be able to cut with air and you also need uh, multiple stages of desiccant and air drying and all that. And this compressor is all set up with all that uh, to cut well. That, now, there are situations where if you're cutting very, very thin material, say like 22 gauge and thinner, you, you could possibly, if you get enough clean air, use a typical, you know, let's say 25 CFM uh, compressor at somewhere around 175 PSI. I've seen a few guys do that but it really limits you in what you can do. You really need to get, you know, think about getting a bigger machine like the one you're seeing in this video. Now this compressor here uses around 33 amps of, of 380 volt, uh, I'm sorry, 240 volt three phase. And you'll see in the next clip after we get this thing in here, uh, a little shot of the phase converter. So I'll have my email it up on the screen at the end. If you're interested in getting a laser, or you want to try to get a compressor or something like that, send me an email. You know, we can we can chat about it. Make sure you got you know got what you need or you know planning something for the future. You know, let me know. And uh, you see, James here is the customer, and he was smart. You know, he basically built this room onto the back of his shop, and instead of trying to get a door on it, he had contacted me before the laser arrived and asking about dimensions and all that. And uh, he just basically left the wall where he could remove it, <clears throat> you know, and uh, just had it temporarily in there until we could get the compressor and then, uh, you know, finish the wall around it.
main drawback to air is that you can only cut thin materials burr free once you start getting into thicker materials say above 16 gauge at this power level you start to see a burr there with the air cutting and in this sample you're looking at the back side of both of those examples there